Kunotori 3, Japanese, Kunotori 3 Hauji, English, White Stork, also known as HTV-3, is the third Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle. It was launched on 21 July 2012 to resupply the International Space Station ISS aboard the HIIB Launch Vehicle No. 3 HIIB F3 manufactured by MHI and JAXA. Kunotori 3 arrived at the ISS on 27 July 2012, and Expedition 32 flight engineer and JAXA astronaut Akihiko Hoshid used the International Space Station's Canadarm2 robotic arm to install Kunotori 3 to its docking port on the Earth-facing side of the Harmony module at 1434 Greenwich Mean Time after the supplies are unloaded. Kunotori 3 was loaded with waste material from ISS, including used experiment equipment and used clothes. Then Kunotori 3 was unberthed from the ISS on September 11 and burned up upon re-entering the atmosphere on September 14, 2012. Topic: <laughs> Specifications. Major changes of Kunotori 3 from previous Kunotori are Change of thrusters to the ones by IHI Aerospace, 500N Class HBT-5 and 120N Class HBT-1 thrusters Change of communication equipment First use of EPMP exposed pallet, multipurpose a redesigned pallet that is somewhat lighter than the previous ones. Simplification of exposed pallet holding mechanism ground operation was improved to allow more late access cargo. Topic: <coughs> Cargo items. Kunotori 3 carries approximately 4.6 tons cargo, consisting of 3.5 tons in pressurized compartment and 1.1 tons in unpressurized compartment. Pressurized cargo consists of system equipment 61%, science experiments 20%, food 15%, and crew commodities 4%. It includes, Aquatic Habitat AQH, GEM Small Satellite Orbital Deployer, JSSOD, 5 CubeSats RAIKO, FITSAT-1, We Wish, F1, TechHeadsat, Eyeball and REBR Reentry Data Recorders, ISS Server Environmental Research and Visualization System ISERV, Additionally, loaded onto Kunotori 3's resupply racks was NASA's Water Pump Assembly WPA, catalytic reactor to replace the former unit that broke in March 2012 in orbit and a cooling water circulation pump to replace the old unit in the Japanese experiment module Kibo, that also broke at the end of March. The High Tech Aquarium AQH, can be used to house small fish for up to 90 days. As a result, aquatic breeding over three generations, from fish parents to grandkids, previously impossible in space shuttle experiments, has become a reality," NASA said in a press kit. The AQH experimental device will allow scientists and researchers to observe the birth of space aquatic creatures that have never experienced Earth's gravity, enabling them to better understand how the space environment affects animals beyond generations in preparation for potential long-term space travel in future. Madaka will be bred and observed in the AQH experimental device. Two experiments, originally designed by the winners of the International YouTube Space Lab competition, would examine how Bacillus subtilis and the jumping spider would react to microgravity. The JSSOD and five CubeSats are part of a technology experiment to test the feasibility of whether small satellites can be released without spacewalks. Using this method, satellites contained in bags will be launched facilitating future satellite design. 
During the destructive re-entry at the end of the Kunotori 3 mission, Eyeball will attempt to collect re-entry data. The globular-shaped Eyeball, a re-entry data recorder produced in Japan, will descend using a parachute after withstanding the high heat of re-entry using ablative shielding and will send data after splashdown via an Iridium satellite. Although Eyeball will stay afloat for a while for data transmission, it will sink in the water eventually and will not be recovered. Unpressurized cargo consists of multi-mission consolidated equipment (MCE) and scan testbed. Topic: <laughs> Operation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Launch. Kunotori 3 was launched aboard HIIB rocket from Tanegashima Space Center at 2 hours 6 minutes and 18 seconds coordinated universal time, 11 hours 6 minutes and 18 seconds JST on the 21st of July 2012. The rocket flew smoothly arching out over the Pacific Ocean on a southeasterly trajectory 51.6 degrees titled to the equator. Two minutes after liftoff, the four strap on solid rocket boosters separated from the launch vehicle and fell away in pairs as planned. The second stage then ignited and continued the push Kunotori 3 to orbit. Four minutes into the flight, the HIIB jettisoned the payload fairing and the first stage. After igniting the second stage engine, the HIIB inserted Kunotori 3 into its preferred initial orbit with separation confirmed at 14 minutes and 53 minutes after liftoff. Following the successful separation of Kunotori 3, the second stage engines were reignited for another time to perform a controlled re entry test. The second stage dropped into the South Pacific Ocean shortly afterwards. There were no apparent launch problems during the entire flight of the HIIB rocket. At the time of the HIIB launch, the weather was rainy, a wind speed was 2.3 meters per second from the west-northwest and the temperature was 27.1 degrees Celsius. Topic: <laughs> Berthing In orbit, Kunotori 3 began a week-long phasing period where its orbit was gradually adjusted. Kunotori 3 rendezvous burns were performed using four newly designed Japanese engines, as the two previous HTVs used engines made by U.S. company Aerojet. During the same period Kunotori 3 underwent a series of pre-docking tests to precisely align the spacecraft with the ISS. The capture and berthing operations of HTV-3 took place on 27 July 2012. Upon reaching the communications zone, the spacecraft began to use the proximity operations system located in the GEM module on the ISS, to communicate with the station. Once Kunotori 3 was within about 30 feet and began station keeping, Mission Control in Houston issued the space station crew the go for capture of the spacecraft with the robotic arm of the space station. That command was radioed up by Capcom Catherine Coleman, who had performed the capture of Kunotori 2 in 2011. Kunotori 3 was placed into free drift and NASA astronaut Joseph Akaba, operating the station's robot arm, captured the HTV's grapple fixture at 12.23 Greenwich Mean Time. Then robotic operators on the ground in Mission Control Houston Robo Team completed the maneuver of the HTV to the pre-berthing position at the nadir port Earth -facing of the space station's Harmony module. The JAXA astronaut and flight engineer of Expedition 32 33rds Akihiko Hoshid then resumed berthing operations, moving the spacecraft into the interface for installation. This marked the first time that a Japanese astronaut assisted in the capture of a Japanese spacecraft. 
16 remotely controlled bolts were gradually electrically driven in the common berthing mechanism at 1424 Greenwich Mean Time to finish the attachment of Kunotori 3 to the ISS at 1434 Greenwich Mean Time. Expedition 32 crew members opened the hatch of Kunotori 3 at 8:23 coordinated universal time on July 28, 2012 and entered Kunotori 3's pressurized logistics carrier PLC to begin removing cargo supplies from inside the PLC. The exposed pallet EP, which carried MCE and scan testbed, was extracted from Kunotori's unpressurized logistics carrier by robotic operators on the ground using the ISS's robotic arm. The EP was then handed off to the GEM robotic arm, being operated by Akihiko Hoshid, and installed to the Kibo's exposed facility on August 6. After MCE and scan testbed were removed from the pallet and installed to their places on ISS, exposed pallet was returned to Kunotori on August 10. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Departure and re-entry to Earth atmosphere. Kunotori 3 was scheduled to be detached on September 6, but was postponed due to the scheduling of ISS activity. In preparation for unberthing, REBR and eyeball re-entry data recorders were installed and activated, and the hatch was closed on September 11. Kunotori 3 was unberthed by SSRMS at 11:50 Coordinated Universal Time, the 11th of September, and released at 15:50 Coordinated Universal Time, the 12th of September. A few minutes after release when leaving from ISS, Kunotori 3 entered abort sequence, quickly leaving to 4 of ISS orbit instead of the nominal gradual lower 4 trajectory. Spaceflight now reported that it was triggered by a failure of in-out computer 2, citing daily space station status report posted on a NASA website. NASA's ISS on-orbit status does not mention any non-nominal event. At the press briefing, HTV flight director Takashi Uchiyama said that it was activated due to the residual motion of HTV after the release by SSRMS, which was considered to exceed the free-fall bounding box before nominal activation of departure maneuver. Later, Aviation Week reported that it was caused by the friction between Kunotori's grapple fixture and the station's robotic arm. After de orbit burns, Kunotori 3 entered atmosphere and was destroyed around 5:27 Coordinated Universal Time on the 14th of September. Eyeball and REBR re-entry data recorders data were retrieved successfully. Topic. See also H-2 transfer vehicle HTV-1 HTV-2 List of unmanned spaceflights to the ISS